In this video, we'll look at how to find the scalar equation of a line given the vector equation. And this is right from your textbook, page 251, number 6. So, 251, number 6, and let's do, say, 6a. And so you're given that x comma y. So we're given the we're trying to find the scalar equation, we're given the vector equation. In 6a, the vector equation is 4 negative 6 plus t 8 comma 2. Okay, well, first of all, we know we have a direction vector. That is, this vector right here, 8 comma 2, is our direction vector. So that means there's a normal vector to that. To find a normal vector, we just flip the coordinates and change the sign. So this would be 2 comma 8 flipped and we make one of them negative. That's how a direction vector is perpendicular. It's like negative reciprocals. So we switch the numbers and change it in signs. They're just If there was one negative we'd make them both positive. Since there's no negatives we make one of them negative. And so now we have a normal vector based on this direction vector. And we just record the fact that we've got a point given here in, that case, in this case, it's 4, comma, negative 6. So, we pulled out some information from here. Now we go to write the equation. So we have a normal vector, which tells us the setup for this equation is going to be negative 2x plus 8y. I got these coefficients from the normal vector. That's how the equation works. This is the a of the normal vector. This is the b of the normal vector but we have some unknown constant c equals zero. And so to solve for c, we're just going to sub in our point. That is negative 2 times 4 plus 8 times negative 6 plus c has to equal zero. And now we'll do the math to solve that. Negative 2 times 4 is negative 8. 8 times negative 6 is negative 48 plus c equals zero. So we have negative 8 minus 48 it's negative 56 plus c equals 0, and we'll move it to the other side or add it both sides, and we get that c is 56. So we have the, so the equation is, and let's write it out, negative 2x plus 8y plus 56 equals 0. Now, we could have noticed this earlier. This equation can and should be reduced. And first of all, we should divide it all by 2. And we get negative x plus 4y plus 28 equals 0. And we also don't like to lead with a negative, so let's divide everything by negative 1, or flip all their signs. And we get x minus 4y minus 28 equals 0. And now we've got our equation. So we should probably write it there for that wasn't are really good therefore so we'll be done now for sure therefore the equation is x minus 40 4 y minus 28 equals 0 we could have saved some of those steps by noticing here we can make this normal vector reduced instead of 2 comma 8 it could have been 1 comma 4 and we could have put the minus on the 8 and that would have saved some of those reducing steps nevertheless how did we do it we started with our vector equation got our direction vector, flipped it, and changed the sign. Could have reduced it there, but we didn't, and identified the point that we had given in the vector equation. Then we used the general form of the scalar equation of a line. We wrote down the coefficients based on the normal vector. We subbed in a point and solved for c. When we were done, we had to make sure we could have reduced. Again, we could have done that back in the beginning step with the normal vector, but instead we do it here because we hadn't before, and we reduce down until the, any common factors have been reduced and that the x is positive. And that's how we found the scalar equation of the line.